$60 for a bodysuit? Like, what? I don't dance now, I make money move. Say, I don't gotta dance, I make money move. If I see you now, speak, that means. So today is March 8th, it's Wednesday, Wednesday, March 8th, and I am going to commit to vlogging, posting on TikTok and Instagram and all of that. So I hope wherever you are, you're having a good day and it's going to be a good morning for you. I'm on my way to work. Luckily for me today is a very like, it's a very chill day today, like the office I'm going to doesn't really have like a full schedule and they ended up just making it a half day. So I'm only going to work until like 12 o'clock. So right now it's 7.35. I got to be there by 8 o'clock. I'm going to be there at 8. <laughs> I should get there for 7.45, but I'll be late. I'll be lying. And um, I've been to this office before, so they cool. Like, they don't care. So, yeah. So, today's going to be a half day. So, I'm going to be productive and take care of a lot of errands and things I need to do before I go away on my trip this weekend. I'm taking a short trip um, back to New York to visit my family. It's my sister's birthday this weekend. My baby sis is turning 18. Um, yeah. So, I'm excited. I usually just, like send her like good a good gift or something on her birthday because since I live here now but I was just like you know what like let me go up there 
and just like hang out with the family because it's been a while and honestly i just miss new york slices and deli sandwiches and just like just home like i need to go home you know sometimes you just need to like just get back grounded and just like just go have fun visit my cousins like i just want to be in the vibes like i want to be home like i don't i don't know i need change of scenery like i just went on a cruise so don't don't judge me i just went on a cruise to bahamas if you follow me on tiktok cool you already know about that um but my main thing is like i don't know i just want to go home like it's nostalgic you know that's to today so i'm gonna go get my front tires done um because since i do all this driving my tires is 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 bald like when you leave your permit too long and you wash your edges like why they bald like they bald like i need new tires like so i'm gonna go get new tires today um just the front tires not all four we're not balling like that i kind of want to stop at zora to see what they got but then at the same time i'm like i'm gonna be in new york so I should just wait till I get to New York to see what New York Zara got because Orlando Zara don't never have shit in it. And if it is, it's like you gotta dig. And if it's cute, it's like I pick it up and I'm like $60 for a bodysuit? Like what? Like so no. I was just like, you know what? I'm just I'm done. I'm done with Orlando fashion. The only thing y'all got with the south is these boutiques that's the only thing y'all got but all of y'all selling the same y y2k um fashion girlies instagram baddie outfits so i'm just like i'm done like what is the fashion like excuse me you know the simple line be having me spin it's just like the malls here don't give and the outlets is written of foreigners when they come and do t tourism so no shade it's not I, I i gotta correct how i speak that was not that didn't come out right the tourists be fucking up the mall that's what i was trying to say so they jack up the prices on simple shit because the outlets is for the tourists <sighs> i need a military man if you want a military hit me up <laughs> i want a military discount and i need your va loan to talk about a house and stop paying rent per um so yeah i'm gonna hit y'all back up after work or if i can bring my camera inside and show y'all me just wiping the room because i can't show y'all me with the patient then i'll do that but um other than that i hope y'all have a good morning or afternoon or night anyway <laughs> love like i was telling y'all about earlier 
I'm really trying to be good about this vlogging shit. So yeah, I just feel really good today. Like my TikTok is doing really well. Um, I'm really not trying to brag right now. I'm just enjoying TikTok. Like TikTok is one of the best platforms I'm on right now. Um, my Instagram, I'm trying to work on that. Instagram, y'all know Instagram. Instagram is ugh, right now. So my main thing right now is trying to just really post really consistently and just post, not just posting anything, like posting stuff that I like. So yeah, posting whatever I want to post. So I'm not stressing myself out trying to post things that just don't interest me, you know? So yeah, so I'm posting, I'm trying to post on my YouTube at least twice a week. So like Wednesday, because I film usually on a Monday or a Sunday for tick for YouTube. And then is my my seat woman was on. It's 83 degrees outside. I'm like, why is my butt hot? <laughs> so um yeah, so I've just been trying to like stay consistent on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Like those are my main places. And then I have, um, I hope this is like in my face. And then I have two photo shoots coming up. I have one on the 18th and one on the 19th. So wish me luck. These are all photo shoots to like get myself out there as a model and to stay consistent with my portfolio and everything. And I'm trying to do, like, creative looks, not just a whole bunch of, like, boudoir sexy stuff. A whole bunch of lingerie ass out looking stuff. Um, I still like those things, but I'm trying to get out of that. Um, so, I'm going to do, like, a creative shoot. And I'm going to let you guys see. I'm going to try to bring you guys along to my photo shoot. Um, but that's not for, like, another two weeks. So, yeah, so... Tomorrow morning, we are on our way to New York. My my app just told me I need to check into my flight, so I did that. And I just been chilling. Like other than that, work was very easy today. Everybody came on time. If they wasn't on time, they was early. <laughs> I love that for me, cause if I'm ready and the room is ready, you sitting down, and you get into it. So, yeah, so my appointments went well today. Like, nobody came with an attitude. Everybody was very good, spirited. Um, and all my appointments went well. Everything was good. Like, so I just wanted to check in with y'all before I go to the tire shop. And then I'm going out to get some food. And then I think I'm going to go stop at Millennium Mall, which is like, if y'all. I don't know where y'all from, but it's a mall that's, it's okay. It's an okay mall, but it's one of those upscale luxury malls that have, like, a whole bunch of, like, Gucci and Louis Vuitton and, like, you know, the upscale shit in there. I personally, I'm only going there for, um, Lockstein, Locketing, Lockstein, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put it right here, whatever that. That's all that's going on. I really want to jam to my music, so... I'm about to turn my music back on. Y'all heard me. I was into my, my reggae, my soca. Definitely going to continue. And I'll check back in with y'all later. All right. Um, hey, girl. Hey. So it is Wednesday, March 8th. How you doing? I hope you're doing good. I'm still trying to continue this vlog. I'm really trying, y'all. Um, so I'm on my way to the airport. And it's 8.39. My flight starts boarding at 10. So that means I need to be on my spurita flight. Yes, I'm flying spirit because I, I just don't find a point in spending Delta money on a two-hour flight. And I know I'm not going to really, you know. So anyway, um, I just wanted to check in. So pray for me. Pray that my flight goes well. And then I get to the flight one time and everything because I... I didn't realize I probably should have been at the airport. And guess what my dumbass was doing? I was crimping my hair. Like, what? You about to be late for your flight and miss your flight for some fucking hair? Like, girl, get it together. See how my priorities be messed up? Like, priorities is all twisted. Like, you have on sweats and Uggs. Like, why do you need your hair crimped? 
<laughs> I, like, and mind you, my alarm was on at 6 a.m. telling me to get up, and I just snoozed. I snoozed, I snoozed, I snoozed. And I snoozed until like 7 a.m., and it's like, all right, bitch, like, you should be leaving the house at 8 something. So, when you thought you had time to crimp your hair. So, anyway, I got the crimper with me, and we just gonna do that when I get to my mom's house or whatever. But, um, anyway, so yeah, I'm a little hungry. I really don't want to buy no airport airport food, but I think I'm probably gonna end up getting one of those like little wraps or something from them them overpriced two hundred dollar wrap like a hundred fifty dollar wraps or whatever. I wish I had enough time to get me like a glass of wine. Like, comment below if you drink before your flights and you you try to unwind or you bring the little like shots of liquor, little nips with you on the plane to try to like calm your nerves like I kind of wish I did that but I don't know where my priorities been like I had plenty of time to prepare for this flight I knew it was coming from like three weeks now so I don't know I'm just here <laughs> anytime I don't know what's going on and I'm just gonna let it flow I just say I don't know I'm just here <laughs> so um Obviously, I'm driving, so I can't really, like, look at the camera, so my bad, but, yeah, I'm, like, five minutes from the airport. I still have to park. Um, thank God I have TSA pre-check, so hopefully the TSA pre-check line is moving fast, and then after I get out of TSA pre-check, I still have to take, there's, like, a little tram. I'm flying from Orlando Airport, just so you know. Um, I have to take, like, a little tram. And then hopefully, like, the gate I got to go to is, like, right there. Because right now it's giving, like, getting there when they're boarding. Like, it's not going to be, I'm not going to have no extra time. I'm either going to be on time or, like, doing a little, the little jog. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I, I feel like that's what I'm going to be giving. So, um, yeah, but I will check in with you all once I either land or when I get to the gate I think I won't really have too much to say at the gate and I don't think I really have time to really talk at the gate so I will speak to you all once I get to New York today is Friday March 10th it is the next day I arrived in New York safely as you can see I'm in New York I'm in my old room which is the basement and everything um it's not really set up real nice so I'm not really like feeling to show y'all like the scenery or whatever um hold on this look better this way so my mom um kind of has it set up just for like temporary interim type vibes like it's not set up like a room room anymore it just has a bed a table and a futon 
my bed that I left and my futon is left here. That's all that's here in like a screen that I left, you know, so it's still kind of like cluttered. So I'm just going to just leave this like this, um, but it's clean. It's just, you know, it's not aesthetically pleasing unless y'all care, but whatever. Um, so yeah, today's Thursday, March 8th, March 10th. So I lied. Yesterday was Wednesday. Y'all see that that mop? <laughs> um, so yesterday was Thursday, March 9th. And today is Friday, March 10th. So I arrived in New York yesterday. I don't know what I told y'all in the last part, but anyway, so yesterday me and my sister went to the city right after I got off the flight. We took the train out there and we went to Soho. And if you don't know, Soho is one of the, like the main fashion districts downtown Manhattan um, where you can go shopping. They have like all different types of stores, um, high end and low end. Um, but definitely like all the cool kids go get their clothes from Soho um, unless they go to thrift stores or they make their clothes, you know, so. Um, I just wanted to be in that energy. That's why I used to go after school. We used to take the train. We just walk around Soho. We used to buy little stuff to go to um, go to parties and stuff like that. Like if I was going out Friday night, I was in Soho Wednesday and Thursday looking for an outfit. And we used to always go to this place called Necessary Clothing on Broadway. Um, and if you're from New York, hey, or if you've been and you you know the vibes, you know what I'm talking about. So. Um, so yeah, unfortunately the necessary clothing I wanted to go to is no longer there. I don't even know if necessary clothing even like really exists anymore. It was just a boutique store. Um, they sell boutique clothes, overpriced boutique clothes. This was before Fashion Nova. This was before Rainbow really was popping like that. Before Shein, all of that. So, so yeah, we went there, we did that. I finally got to try the, um, Joe and the Juice, um, Tuna Cotto. So that was like the highlight. Okay. I was so excited. I was happy about that. So if I have some clips and they look okay, I'll just insert them like after this part right here. T.I., go insert the clips right here of all the stuff you did yesterday. Or if I don't insert them here, just go check out my TikTok. Um, it's probably well organized into like a better vlog over there because I'm so much better at editing on TikTok because it's on my phone. Um, but anyway, so today, um, like right now, it's 10.30. I'm not meeting one of my my hygiene friends. She's my good friend, but also I met her really because of hygiene. Um, that's like a evaporation bag for like the damp, wet air, if you ask me what that is. Um, don't worry about that. It's a lot going on down here. So if y'all looking in the background like, what the fuck is that? What is this? What is that? I don't live here. This is not my house no more. I don't organize nothing. A lot of my family members come and stay and just leave stuff everywhere. So, like, not in a bad way. It's just, like, it'll be, like, a can opener just laying somewhere. And it's just, like, what is this doing here? It's just out of place. And my mom lives upstairs, so she don't come down here. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to meet my friend up at, like, 4.30 five o'clock and then I'm meeting my cousin at six thirty for reservations at Tao, which um they have towels in like all the cities. They have a towel in Miami too, so um so we go in there and then after that we probably might go get hookah. I don't know. We'll see how the night goes. And um we might go to Katra, which is like a lounge club. Or we might go to um what is it called? We might go to, oh my God, if we don't go to Katra, where we going to go? If we don't go to Bottle and Outshade, then where could we go? Um, um, Taj, Taj, T-A-J, Taj, that's where we might go. So we're going to be in the city with it. Um, other than that, I'm about to drink my tea. I'm about to deposit this check that I got on my mob, my mobile app. And, um, I'm gonna drink some tea. I might just go get a bacon, egg, and cheese or like a deli sandwich because I don't really like do too much like cooking while I'm home. Um, other than that, 
nothing else is going on. I was just going through my TikTok comments because I don't really get like a lot of TikTok notifications. Only notifications I get is when I have my notifications off, but when I go into the app, I only get notifications if somebody likes something or if the comment was in the past like 12 hours. So if you left a comment on a video from 12 weeks ago, it's going to say three days ago the comment was left because they don't tell me that the comment was left. So that's so annoying. So I'll be having to go through all my videos on TikTok because some of some of y'all be asking questions that I don't, I don't see it, you know, or they'll leave like a really nice comment. Like, Oh, you inspired me. You helped me through this process. Now I'm finally in hygiene school. Now I want to do this. Now I want to do that. And I don't even, it looked like I don't give a fuck cause I never got to answer. So anyway, girl. So if you want, I've been talking for six minutes. So if you want, you could watch me, um, deposit my check. And I'm going to just put the camera up and I might just come back on the vlog when I, um, when I actually have something to do because <laughs> I'm not doing nothing right now. I'm just hanging out. Like I'm going to be on my phone. I'm going to watch some TV probably a little bit. Um, I think I might do a haul on the stuff that I bought though. It's nothing crazy. It's just like photo shoot stuff. And then I bought like these really cute hats. Or maybe I should just show y'all. I don't have to try it on, right? Yeah, let me deposit this check real quick. And then I'm going to show y'all what I got. So, yeah, I'm going to come back. Per my, my Miami, Florida cup that I got, like, so long ago. This was probably from, like, the first time I went to Miami. You know you go and get, like, touristy shit. I went and got, like, a tourist. <laughs> Such a tourist. Okay. It's just some green tea, green tea in here. I really wish I had some honey, some lemon, but like this is not a shady conversation. This is not like anything. It's just my mom and my grandmother were not like super like like cook type of people. Like they did not cook, so they they would make food. But, like, the kitchen isn't, like, super organized. They have, like, all these things waiting for you. Like, they, they, and once you get grown, like, they do not, they don't have the time to be organizing nobody's kitchen and getting food ready for you. Like, there's no breakfast being made right now. Like, you know, and, like, I wish I, I wish I was part of that kind of family where I walk downstairs and my mom's like, you want pancakes? I know you're home. Do you want pancakes? Like, my mom's not like that. My grandmother's not like that either. Like, and, but we don't eat out a lot either. But I don't, I don't honestly know what my family eats for real. Like, we West Indian people, but it's complicated. You know, we be fixing food. That's why, like, y'all see me with my 30 minute meals, because we not cook a whole Sunday dinner, bake a cake and cupcakes, and like, my mom's definitely not like that. She's not like that. So I don't come home expecting to have like super full breakfast. Like I know if I want breakfast, I need to go to the grocery store and I have to go get the groceries and I have to make it. And then not only do I have to make it, of course I have to make it for everybody else. So it's like, I'm on vacation technically. So I'm not about to be cooking. I don't want to cook. I cook four to five, three to four times a week. I'm not cooking. When I'm on vacation. That's it up. So if y'all see me like snacking until I'm ready to leave the house or order something. Like, please, bear with me. <laughs> so I got my little, I eat these at home. So don't judge me. But I got my little um, apple sauce in the package. Just for babies, but whatever. My sister be fucking these up, okay? So anyway... I deposited my check. I'm supposed to be showing y'all what I got off the street and at the store in Soho. So, I got, is this a good angle? So, I got this cute hat. Isn't it so cute? So 
So it's gonna be like that. Per. And this is like what a, you know, one of the fur hats that's coming back in style. Um, it's a, like a beige color, the inside is black. And I bought this off of the street. Um the guy was super nice, you know. Um, so he was cool. And then I saw this other one. It's a it's a blue and black hat, and then it says couture. Versus, it looked like it says Versace too. Versace couture all over it. So this is cool. I can't wait to style these. And it also has like an adjustable strap in here. But um, I could wear this with my wigs and stuff. So oh my battery's dying. I'll be right back. Okay, this is a better angle because I was not trying to um I'm not trying to stand up. Like I wanna sit. Okay, so this is my um my hat. Isn't it so cute? Purr. <laughs> Alright, so I got these two hats. So I'm happy about that. I'm about to put a whole fit together. You know, these hats is in style again, so that's good. And then this is what I got. Yes, no fancy bags. This is what I got from um, the fashion boutique store. It's called, if you want to know, it's called Mystique Boutique. Mystique Boutique. They have a website too. But some of that stuff in there, I was like searching on the Shein app to go look. And I was like, yeah, I'm not about to buy that. I could get that with Shein. So I spent... I got a lot of stuff on clearance, honestly, but I spent $99, $99.94. So yeah, and it's one of those stories, you know, no exchanges, no returns without your receipt. And if you return or you exchange, just a store credit, like, so anyway. So I got this bodysuit. Y'all know I'm a model, so I'll be doing a lot of photo shoots and stuff. So this is a medium large, and this is like a romper. And it says, like, love. It has, like, all these different symbols on it and stuff. And I feel like I could really put this fit together. This would be mad cute um, for the summertime. Or even if I just want to wear it with some boots or whatever, it's going to be mad cute. So, and then this has, like, a zip part in the front or whatever. So, that that's going to be cute. Ugh, this was so adorable. It's, like, a shirt. But it has, like, the diamond. It has, like, diamond um, rhinestone shoestring thing like glitter part and it's a crop white shirt very cute very cute and then i got this white button up shirt because i want to do like a photo shoot with like you know you open up the white shirt and you just got jeans on or whatever type shit and i could also put this together make it look cute and it's actually very good quality it's like kind of heavy and then my sister wanted me to get her some sundresses, so I got her. She picked this up. It's like a regular, cute, you know, maxi. Um, very simple, you know, one of those um, dresses. And it's like a periwinkle blue, like a light blue. That's her favorite color. And then for myself, I got myself some simple basics. Um... And these were buy two, get one free. So she got one. So this is hers. She got a, a romper. And it's like that stretchy material. You know, like really stretchy. This dress is really stretchy too. Like, you know, they be having these in rainbow. This ain't nothing crazy. And then buy two, get one free. And I thought this was going to be cute to wear around the house. Or if I needed like, um, so I could do my headshots. Just a simple like bodysuit with no designs or nothing. And I got the same bodysuit in black. It sounds like it still got the paper in it. And it does. <laughs> so that's good. I know nobody wore it and returned it. So I got I got it in a medium large because it stretches really like it's like leggings. And I got it in black. And then I got myself one in the green. Another one. And it comes kind of like I don't know. I got big thighs, so this might be short shorts on me. I don't know. We'll see. But it should come to, like, almost my mid-thighs, hopefully. And, yeah, so that's what I got. So, I didn't really see anything else. I did see some poster girl 
dupe dresses, which was like, you know, those stocking dresses with like all the holes cut out and then they got the diamonds in the middle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The poster girl dress dupes in there um, that everybody's been putting up at their boutiques. But I was like, $24 for a dress that's made out of stockings with some rhinestones on it that's from Amazon? No. And then she ain't got it for $12? Yeah, I'm gonna go on Shein. I'm gonna go on Shein, Shein right, actually right now because I would need that by Saturday. Hopefully they could do that for me. Um, I'm gonna just expedite it, of course. But yeah, so I'm gonna give my sister her clothes. So I'm gonna leave these out. And then I'm gonna put my stuff back in the bag because I don't wanna forget nothing here. So yeah, that's what I got. And then like I said, we went to Joe and the Juice. We got our tuna and a vanilla chai latte and we just vibe we just walk around the city just vibing like, i took some pictures they should be up by now go like it on instagram and yeah so um so it should be a fun rest of the weekend tomorrow we're supposed to go to karaoke for my sister so yeah that should be fun so i'm gonna go back and like i said go on my tiktok answer comments um post this about me video that i had sitting in my private that should have been scheduled by now post that and just relax the rest of this weekend i think i'm gonna end this vlog at saturday and then start every saturday um so whatever you guys see tomorrow will be like the last of this vlog because i'll, I'll have a lot to edit and then I'll probably start Saturday will be the next vlog. So whatever you see tomorrow morning will probably be like all the rest of the vlog for this week. And then next week we'll start tomorrow. I think I think that's what the girls be saying they doing. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep up with everything. So anyway, I will see y'all when I'm getting dressed to go out to the city tonight. Um and then I'll try to bring my camera with me. If anything, I'll just vlog on my phone. But yeah. So, I will see y'all either tomorrow or in the next vlog. And thank you so much for continuing to watch. Because without y'all and without the fun and passionate part of this, I would not want to do this. Because the editing part would be trash. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.